All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Phantom Power. So I wanted to make a video today about a forgotten bodybuilder by the name of Roland Szerlock. So I'm sure I probably butchered that last name as usual, but this is a bodybuilder from the 1990s who had an absolutely insane physique. So if you look at old pictures of Roland from his competitive career, there's going to be two things that are going to stand out in particular. Number one is going to be his most muscular pose. I'd say probably at least 75% of the photos that you're going to find of Roland are going to be most muscular poses, and that's because he looks absolutely incredible um, in that most muscular pose. And the second thing you're going to notice when you look back on photos of Roland is his conditioning. Um, and I think the reason the most muscular pose is such a popular photo of him is because his conditioning comes across very, very well um, in those old most muscular poses. So if you look back, he's got those striations on his pecs in the most muscular. Um, pretty much everything is just striated, conditioned, lean, dry, hard. And it just shows very, very well in that, especially that front crab pose, most muscular. Um, his traps, absolutely huge as well. He kind of almost reminds me of an Andreas Munzer uh, kind of physique and that, that kind of level of conditioning that you just don't really see anymore. Conditioning was just insane. So in my opinion, Roland was like the Roly Winkler of the 1990s. And the reason that I say that is because I don't think he really gets the respect that he deserves. And he really didn't get a lot of the placings that I think he deserved. There are a lot of shows where I think he deserved a lot higher of placings. Um, his highest placing in any IFBB show was at the 1995 Night of Champions where he placed fifth. And his highest Olympia placing would only be a 12th place finish at the 1996 Mr. Olympia. Um, he did pretty well at the Arnold Classic. He placed 7th at the 1996 Arnold and then 10th at the 1998 Arnold. And he also competed. Uh, his final competition would be the 2001 Night of Champions where he would not place. And going back to his very first competition, you would have the 1991 IFBB World Amateur Championships. Um, so his career spanned just about a decade. So the reason that I say he's like the Roly Winkler of the 1990s is, number one, he has that insane most muscular pose. I think, honestly, of the 1990s, there's only a handful of guys that just had one of those crazy jaw-dropping most muscular poses, and I think he was one of them. Um, so that's one of the things that he definitely has in common with Roly. Obviously, their names are a little bit similar as well. Um, but I think Roly is probably going to go down in history as being one of the most underrated bodybuilders of all time. And Roland, I would say, is probably one of the most underrated bodybuilders of the 90s. Um, like Roly Winkler, you see him frequently placed just in the top six or maybe somewhere in the top ten at the Olympia, where arguably you could have him a little bit higher. Um, and sadly, I think that might always be the case for Roly. It's going to be hard for him to crack the top three and really make a massive impact or win the Olympia, um, in my honest opinion. So I think people are going to look back at like the 20, you know, the 2010s era and look back at Roly Winkler like, man, that guy looked crazy. How come he never placed higher? Um, and that's the same way we're looking back at guys like Roland from the 1990s. Um, so he was five foot eight. His stage weight was 225 pounds, so not that heavy of a guy. Um, but again, that speaks to his crazy conditioning. He was born in Poland, but he was considered a German professional bodybuilder because of his vast competitive history over there in Germany as an amateur. So he is actually still alive today, and he is only 49 years old. So he's not, you know, a very old guy by any means. Still alive, um, and still, you know, pursues bodybuilding to some extent. He still has a pretty good physique even today. Um, so that is basically the story of Roland Szerlock. There's a lot more pictures of him out there than there is, you know, articles or information. So there's definitely a lot of pictures in this video um, where he looks crazy, but not as much information on this guy. Uh, but I think he definitely deserved video. So please let me know in the comment section what you thought about Roland Szerlock um, in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.